Man, well, a lot of a lot of fans I know. I think you've talked about this. They were sad that there was like a near kind of brood moment in AEW, and I guess it kind of didn't come together there. Um, any talk about you still doing something with Christian over in AEW, or or I guess Edge over in WWE? He's kind of got a he's kind of got a brood thing going right now himself over in WWE. Yeah, it's a bro- yeah. Uh, I, I had a podcast, and on my podcast, I was going, man, if I would see what's going on there, I'd put them together, and then at WrestleMania, that's what happened. Um, I think it's cool. Uh, I don't know where they're going with it. I, I talked to Adam, but I haven't talked to him since right after WrestleMania Edge. Uh, what's going on? I don't like to ask too many questions. I kind of like to be surprised. I don't want to know, so if I go say something stupid on the podcast, like I leak something or anything. Not yours, but my own podcast, where I, I just tend to ramble on for content, like, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Did you just draw a blank and then you say things you're not supposed to say? But, uh, yeah, uh, no, there's no reunions, no talks uh, with Christian or Edge. Uh, Although it'd be really cool to be like uh, with Damian Priest and Edge, that, that's cool. I love how he's got like a mixed brood taker vibe with the rays of the chair and the fires and stuff like that. Like that, uh, that was really cool. I, I was really stoked. I'm really happy for him. Uh, he's a really good dude. And from what I know of Damian Priest, all my interactions with him, the few conversations I have with him, he's a great dude. So um, I think they deserve each other in a good way. And uh, and I hope they do really good business. And I hope they do big things. And I hope they get like Rhea Ripley and they get some really cool people in this faction and do some really cool stuff. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people want to see the Ripley thing, but dude, yeah, I could see you for sure. Like, I think Easy Pop is like OG Brood member, like stopping around, like because he's taking it, in, he's taking it in a in a different direction. This it's like you guys always kind of had a supernatural vibe, but he's going full Taker, like you said this time around with this thing. Yeah, I think maybe uh, maybe Taker to Hall of Fame, maybe tagged him out and said, "Hey Edge, take it for your last few years, man. Then turn it over to Priest to let him finish it out, and then." Maybe they'll turn it over to Finn Balor after that. Who knows? Or wait, maybe the old uh, Fiend will be back or whatever. Who knows? <laughs> sure, sure. Well, I want to get your take on another kind of faction that's very dark uh, right right now, and that's the House of Black stable over with uh, Malachi Black and uh, AEW. I didn't know if you had any thoughts on kind of what they're doing with this like Nordic death metal vibe uh, that they've got going. There's nothing wrong with Nordic death metal. That's pretty cool. But <laughs> <laughs> um, it, he's a cool guy. I love watching the strikes and stuff like that. A lot of people seem to compare, like, I don't know, they, like, are trying to say Edge is biting that, you know, the House of Black thing. So, curious to see where all, all the stuff winds up at the end of the day after a couple months and see where it shakes down. But very cool and very excited for that, too. Yeah, for sure, man. Uh, well, it's kind of some top-line stuff here, man. The big thing at the moment, like, everybody talking about is, like, Cody Rhodes going back to WWE right now after his time in AEW. I mean, you've seen, uh, I don't know how close you are with Cody, but, like, you've seen a lot of people make some moves in the business did this one feel any different to you? Do you understand why that this one is resonating with the fans seemingly as much as it is right now? Man, it's just, I imagine it just comes down to business, doesn't it? I would think so. Yeah. I'm not a business guy because I, I uh, <laughs> if I was, I'd still be uh, making tons of money somewhere. I, I, I just love wrestling. And um, I think that might have just came down to business. I, I don't know the ins and outs, but more than likely it was, he wanted a certain amount of money. They're probably saying, hey, we're already giving this guy. we got to deal with this guy. Can't give anybody a certain amount of money than this guy. So, yes, this is it. This is where you're at. And he probably said, okay, fine. So things have changed. He went over there. I imagine it's business. The fans, I mean, wrestling, the greatest thing about being pro wrestling, you can be a baby face one day and you're going to heal the next. You know, they'll love you in one company and hate you in another and vice versa. I, that's the beauty of it. And uh, I like I like to see that kind of emotion in, in pro wrestling. And I would like to see a lot more magic in uh uh, mystery and pro wrestling too. So like, I, I think it's cool. I like it. I think it's good for. I think it's good for all wrestling, and that, that people are going to cross back over the other direction too. So uh, gives that company credibility, and then Cody Rhodes coming back over. So it's all good. I believe it's all good for professional. Well, wrestling. one thing I want to kind of ask you about is like, because it does seem like there's less of those mystical wrestlers now, right? Everybody seems to kind of want to be a <laughs> CM Punk style wrestler these days. Do yeah. you think it's a wise move or a tough move right now to make the decision to kind of be an outside the box? kind of wrestler right now considering the landscape of things it is tough it's tough with uh, a lot of the networking and stuff they need to know everything too um see and everybody's got to know something and there's all these leaks this and that so there's no surprise moments but definitely i believe that uh mystery is missing in it and um that that magic and the suspense and the surprise of things because like you know everybody speculated he was coming like cody rhodes is coming over you know you're there's contra because you you can't hide anything more when it's publicly traded companies and and this and this and that everything's bound to to get out but i, I miss that and i think it hurts it hurts wrestling like a fan like me i like to be surprised i want i want to watch something and not 
guess the outcome. If I go to a movie, I want to be able to like, I want to be at the twist at the end of the movie. I want to be like, oh man, I didn't see that coming. That was awesome. I want to be entertained in that sense. That, but that's me. But I've been wrestling 35 years, so you start seeing a little bit of everything. You're not surprised as much anymore. You know. Yeah.